want to become a programmer. A coder. A programmer. A web developer. Programmer. A web designer. Programmer. Front-end developer. Programmer. Back-end developer. Programmer. Software engineer. Pro-grammar. Software developer. For the last time, programmer. Someone that works with the symbols and words that make the computers work. Yeah, let's go with that. Don't you need to know what all that mess means? You mean learn languages? Yeah, sure, that's what I meant. Well, yeah, I do need to learn some languages. So like Java, that's a language, right? Yes. JavaScript. No, Java. That's what I said. No, you said JavaScript. Yeah, Java is short for JavaScript. No, it's not. They are completely different. Right, so what's the difference? Well, Java- You know what? I don't care. I will probably be using CSS or HTML to start with anyway. They're not languages. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not. Prove it. What are you, five? No, but I'm right. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, We're not doing this again. Okay. HTML and CSS are the structure and styles of pages. So I need to learn how to write something in a specific way that's going to be included in almost all of the pages I build, but it's not a language. Yes. So what about Python? That is a language. Should I learn it? You could, but you don't need to. Then again, it is quite a popular language and a lot of people are using it. Okay, so I should learn JavaScript HTML and CSS, but they're not languages, and then maybe Python. Yeah, and then you could learn C++, PHP, Ruby, Ruby... Hold up! Wait, why would I learn all of that? Well, they are all different, and you will probably get answers to some of your questions in other languages. But that doesn't make any sense. No, but people answer your question in the language they know because it makes sense to them, so you need to understand what language they're talking in so they can actually help you. Right. Well, I'm going to be working on my own projects anyway. Ah, git. I'm not a git. That's debatable. I thought you were meant to be helping me, not insulting me. Yeah, you need git. Okay, so what is git? It is software that keeps track of the changes you make to the files that you're coding on. Huh? Can't I just save it? Yeah, but if you mess up, and we all know that you're going to mess up, you might want to go back to some of the older versions. Right, so Git gives me version control. Did you just Google that? No. You will probably need a GitHub account too. Wait, GitHub? Yeah, yeah, it is like Git, but public. Do I need Git first? No, so I can use GitHub without Git. Yes. So why would I use both? When you're working something on your computer, you're using Git, and then you push it to GitHub. Wait a minute. Push? Yes, so you push and pull things to and from your repo. Stop. What is push? What is pull? And what the heck is a repo? A repo is short for repository. Which is what? Is a collection of the versions you're making when you're coding. So a folder. No. Yes, it is a folder. No, because that's not its name. But that is basically what it does. It stores saved files in a specific place. Yeah, I guess. Right, and this repo in GitHub is public, so other people can see it or change it. Correct. So what is this pull-push thing? Well, when you make a change to the code, you commit it, and then you push or pull it to the repository. So saving. Kind of, but... No, 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 but you are saving something to a file in a folder. If you want to think of it like that, then I guess, but that isn't technically right. I don't care about semantics. I just want to build cool stuff. Well, in that case, you might want to learn about the terminal. I assume you're not talking about the waiting area for a flight, are you? No, the computer terminal. Okay, where do I install or download it? You already have it. Right. As you're on Windows, if you type in the search bar at the bottom terminal, it should come up. All I get is command prompt. That's right. And the terminal is inside the command prompt? No, the terminal is the command prompt. Why a different name then? I don't really know. I think it has something to do with Linux, but to be honest, there were too many words in the Google description for me to really understand what it was going on about. Well, it says no. Yeah, but when someone says no in the tech world, what they actually mean is 
It depends who you talk to. Right, so I need to be careful who I talk to. Yeah, so don't go watching loads of YouTube videos. You've watched loads of YouTube videos, haven't you? Maybe. How many? Well, I don't really like the long videos because when I see fast in the title next to a three hour video, it kind of puts me off a bit. So I just watch lots of short videos that are like 10, 15 minutes. Let me guess, you can't remember a thing from them. Well, I can remember the moaning about the error messages. Did you get any ideas of where to start? There were some really cool AI projects, um, some really cool machines that people have built with code as well. You realize you can't even add up numbers yet, right? Yeah, but it shouldn't take that long. <laughs> I would slap you to wake you up if I wasn't talking to myself. So what do you suggest? Well, you could pay for a course or pay for a boot camp. I am cheap, I don't like spending money. I just graduated university basically living off of YouTube videos. I think I will start with videos. Okay, but make sure you understand what is actually going on. Yeah, I have noticed videos looking rather different. Ah, the editors. You what? The code editors people are using. If you say so. It just makes writing code a little bit easier when you're writing functions, creating variables, and doing the push and pull thing to, to GitHub. Can't I just use Microsoft Word, Google Docs, or Notepad? Yeah, but then you don't get all of those features, and you don't get to choose what icons you have for all the files that you've made. If I can see it and read it, I'm good. What about the theme of the editor? Extensions to make things yours? Again, if I can see it and read it, I'm good. I can't spell at the best of times, so adding things in is probably not going to help. Okay, let me put it a different way. You need to get a code editor and change it to dark theme and have customized icons. Right, okay. This was a good conversation. One question. Where do I start? 